Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Rangers review special. Of course, we've got the Europa League campaign kicking off on Thursday when uh, Real Betis come to Ibrox in the first game of the group stage campaign. And as a result, I'm delighted to say we're joined on the line by uh, Real Betis supporter uh, Enrique. Enrique, thank you very much for, for coming on. Thank you, Derek, for giving me the chance of being here, speaking about the, one of the things I love the most in this life, which is Betis, of course. Yeah, yeah. I need to thank you because, uh, Enrique, that uh, you did send me a, a brilliant film, a documentary that Copa 90 uh, carried out about uh, Betis. You can find it on YouTube, folks. I'd recommend you go and have a, a look at it. Enrique is on that uh, documentary. It's a, a fascinating watch. Um, it was great to watch about... The, uh, and, and, what I knew about Betis before watching that, Enrique, was uh, breaking the world transfer record when they brought Danielson in back in, in, in the day. Uh, but it was interesting to find out a lot more about the football club. It's a, a football club with a, a rich history, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's a pity that Betis was known mostly because of this uh, football player, because of Danielson. Because actually, after Danielson, uh, things began to get worse and worse. We had a president that uh, turned out to be terrible for us and uh, we were relegated, we went to the second division and we have been struggling. I mean, then we came back, we won a Spanish Cup, we played Champions League, but um, yeah, afterwards uh, everything came out and uh, we all discovered that the president had been stealing money from us for a lot of years and uh, yeah, we were relegated and we were struggling because at the same time that we were in that situation, uh, the other team of the city was winning everything. So, yeah, the last year have been a bit complicated, but beside that, the Nilsson thing, yeah, but it has a very rich history. Um, we actually, we won the, we are one of the few teams that have won the league in Spain. We won it in 1935, just before the, the Civil War. And then we have three more, uh, three more Spanish Cups. So, yeah, and at the end, if you go to, the, to our stadium, every game uh, you will have at least 50,000 uh, fans. So, I mean, not having uh, been a team that has been um, for many years in the second division, even in the third division, we were there after the Spanish Civil War. And uh, yeah, being a team like this and having 50,000 people every every game, that's uh, proof of how important Betis is, not only for us, but for the city itself and for the history of football in Spain. Yeah, but of course. The Rangers fans that will make their way over to Seville in December, me included, uh, Enrique, um, it's maybe a bit too soon for some after, after heading over there for the Europa League final and, and losing on penalties last, last season. Um, but in terms of uh, Betis and uh, the rivalry with, with Seville, what, what, what is that like? Is it a, an intense rivalry? Yeah, it is a very intense rivalry, of course. I, I always say that, uh, like, 15 years ago or 18 years ago, we both, Betis and Sevilla, we were both exactly the same. Like, two regular teams that sometimes we were relegated to the second division and sometimes we were lucky enough to qualify for uh, UEFA or whatever. But then, uh, and during those years, you can imagine, two teams that are exactly the same, you can imagine how the rivalry was. And then all these good years of Sevilla came and... Uh, even with that huge difference that we have had in our teams, the you know the, the rivalry has been there, of course. And every time we play a game, you know, if, if the game is on Sunday from Monday from the previous Monday, the whole city is already nervous. And if you go to a bar, everyone is speaking about that. Uh, during that week, you don't meet your Sevilla fans so often. So you only probably are going to meet Betis fans. And and yeah, and after the game, it's exactly the same for one week. The city cannot stop speaking about the the derby, so yeah, it is important one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic. And the the fan base then, Enrique, the the the, the supporters that will head over to, to Glasgow for for the game, and do, do they do they follow the team in great numbers? Um, are they a passionate fan base? Yeah, of course. For example, last year in Rome we were more than two thousand. In Manchester it was almost three thousand, and. Um, I don't know, for example, I, I went myself to Rasgrad because I wanted to watch Aludo Goretz Betis and uh, we were almost 300 there. So, yeah, a, a lot of people travel. Unfortunately, I, I won't be able to travel this game to, to, to Glasgow. But, yeah, I think that at least it's something like 1,500 uh, will go. So, yeah, actually, it is a pity because a lot of people like me, we cannot go because 
it's it's going to be the, the first game of the um, of the Europa League, you know, and the, the game was too close to the draw and the, the flights yeah. were really, really, really expensive. So yeah. there is a lot of people like me that instead of going to Glasgow, we really wanted to go to Glasgow just because for what Rangers means to football. And um, but many of us, we cannot go to. So at the end, we are going to Prague and uh, yeah, in Prague, we will be a lot of uh, Beticos as well. Yeah. What, what? How do the Betis fans look at the group, Enrique? Of course, Rangers in there. They were in, in Port 1, Sparta, Prague and uh, Aris Limassol from Cyprus. Is that a group that the Betis fans like you will be expecting to qualify from? Yeah, it is a group we are we actually expect to qualify, but I don't know. We 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 know that the fight will be against Rangers. I mean, I think one of or Rangers or Betis will be the first and, and the second one at the end. If you go to Cyprus, it is like a long travel, whatever. But the difference between between teams is huge, and uh, exactly the same with Sparta Prague. So at the end, yeah, I think Rangers Arbet is uh, will qualify, but we have to we, we have to wait. We have to, we will have to see which one will be in the first division, which is an important thing because you qualify uh, directly to the to the next level. And uh, you, you don't have to play that game in in February. Last year happened to us. A couple of years ago, we we were second, and we had to play against Senate. And and at the end, you have to travel to Russia. You have another game in the middle of the of the season. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, Manuel Pellegrini is a manager, well uh, thought of, renowned coach. Enrique, how do the fans view him? Is are they fully on board with him? Is he doing a good job? Yeah, we love him. We love him and uh, we love Pellegrini and his second coach, uh, Cousillas, Ruben Cousillas. Mm-hmm. He's also a very important part of uh, of what he does with Betis. And yeah, just for you to know, Be- Pellegrini is the only coach that has been able to qualify Betis uh, for European uh, European uh, competition in three years in a row. He's the first one. So and um, he got that and we won the, the Spanish Cup a couple of years ago. Uh, we hadn't won it since uh, 2005. So, yeah, imagine. And we have been, even though we have been uh, having, I mean, we have had like a good team, a a proper team with good players. We have been also struggling with uh, money issues a lot. And Pellegrini has been able to to make a great team with some players that maybe at the beginning of the season, people wasn't happy with them or they were not showing what they were really able to do. But at the end, Pellegrini has been able to get uh, that strength or whatever out of them. So, yeah, we love him. And we always say that we do what uh, Manuel Pellegrini wants. (laughs) 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 and uh, I mean good season last season in in La Liga uh, finishing uh, sixth what what is the the aims this season in terms of uh, the league Enrique in the league uh, at least we want to qualify again for Europa League and if we're able to make it to Champions League that would be great because here, if you finish the fourth, you can go directly. You don't have to play like yeah. a previous game. So, yeah, I think that's the aim of the team. I'm, even the, the club itself, for several, for the last two years, they have been saying constantly that the, the, the goal is uh, qualifying for Champions League because uh, at the end, economically, it's something uh, brutal. You you earn way more money in Champions League than, yeah. the, than in Europa League, of course. And, um, and then, besides that, the, the team itself, we the fans, we are really we're really looking forward for the for see what happened in Europa League for because for the last three years uh, we were defeated by Eintracht Frankfurt, then uh, Manchester United. We haven't we have never gone farther than quarterfinals in uh, in Europa. So we are focused on that. We really hope, uh, or at least we, we want to believe that uh, we will go a bit uh, a bit further. And again, uh, maybe you are thinking, oh, he's asking for too much. But then the Spanish Cup is also very, very important for us. As I told you before, we have yeah. already won it three times. So every time we play the, the Spanish Cup, the, the whole uh, fan base is re- really excited about it. So yeah, let's see how far we can uh, get in the three competition. Yeah, yeah, you can see the, how how passionate they are, folks, on that that Copa ninety documentary where they cover that that Copa del Rey final against uh, Valencia. Um, of course, looking in the Europa League as well, Enrique, is there a bit of you're looking over across the city in Sevilla? I've won it so many times now. It, I mean, it's it's crazy how many uh, times they've won that competition. I guess you would like to get 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 one back and get that trophy in your own cabinet. Yeah, of course. And especially for people like me, imagine what I told you before. When I was a child, when I was in, in school, 
Um, I was used to play in first division while Sevilla was in the second division. That happened like two or three times during yeah. the 90s. So, yeah, I was used to something like that. So imagine be, uh, being raised like this and then you see how they begin to win everything. But there is something I can tell you for sure. I mean, when we won the Spanish Cup, they had already won um, uh, six Europa League titles. And when we won the Cup, I didn't give a shit. And I'm sorry to say so. I mean, I celebrated like Sevilla doesn't exist. And that's the yeah. point. I don't care if they have seven. They can have 20. If uh, we win the Cup, I will celebrate it like crazy. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm really looking forward. My my really, my really dream is going to Dublin this year to, to, yeah. to be in the final and see how Betis can uh, win his first uh, European title. Yeah. The, in terms of uh, Thursday night, then uh, what can the range? What can Rangers expect to see from, from Betis? How will they set up and how will they approach the game? Do you think? One of the things we like about Pellegrini, I told you, we we love him. Uh, Pellegrini, he he always wants to to win. I mean, he never mm -hmm. goes to. For example, we went to Old Trafford and uh, yeah, he was trying to win all the time. At the end, we lost four one. Okay, but uh, yeah, you can be sure that the Betis will try to have the ball and will try to to attack. Of course, there will be some uh, periods of the game where. Betis give the ball to the other team, so they, they run a bit more. But yeah, you can be sure that Betis will try, will try to, to get the three points. Well, it could make for a, quite a, an open game, perhaps. And, and who are the players uh, that Rangers should be wary of? Who are the, uh, the big threats at uh, Real Betis? Okay, to me, the, the best player in Betis and the, the most necessary player in Betis is Guido Rodriguez. But Guido Rodriguez at the S is a number five. I mean, you don't have to be scared of him scoring goals, even though he scored one goal to, to Rome when we played the, there <laughs> in their stadium. But yeah, Guido Rodriguez is the best to me. The strikers, is, is it is true that this year Borja Iglesias is not performing that well, uh, but William Jose has already scored three goals. Actually, he has already scored more than he did in the last season. But the uh, the pity, the pity for us is that Fekir won't be ready for the game uh, yet, but uh, we all are very excited because we didn't expect, expect him to, to perform, to play like this, about Isco. When we signed Isco, we didn't know what was going to happen, but Isco has been like, maybe, I think he has been the, the best player in the fourth games that we have uh, played so far. And uh, yeah, you have to pay attention on Isco and of course Ayoce. Ayoce, he was playing uh, in in England last year, but he came in, well, in Newcastle, I believe, uh, and uh, he came to to Betis in January. And then after they have have been playing here for five months, he renewed the contract. I mean, he, he signed a new contract, and now he's he's playing he's playing very good as well. So yeah, I would say Ayoce, Isco, and uh, and Guido Rodriguez. Yeah, interesting. And will they set up quite attacking uh, in terms of for formation? Do you think? Will they? Um, how how sort of what formation do you think uh, Pellegrini will will play in the Ibrox? Do you think? Yeah, I I think there will be a four five one. Let's say. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the point. And also, only with um, I mean, always with Guido Rodriguez, as I told you, it's very important uh, playing between the midfield and the and the defense. And then uh, we don't actually we we are not playing uh, for the last year. We haven't played with the uh, wings, but now we have Luis Enrique in a very good shape, and we have also signed Abde from Barcelona. So maybe there is another option there to play with the wings. And then in the middle, you will have, of course, as I told you, Isco or uh, William Carvalho, if he's able to play because he has been injured for the last four games. And um, Rodri, he's a, a very young player, but very talented as well. At the end, we have uh, mo most of our more, most talented players, they played in the, in the midfield. So yeah, that's why it's normal to have like five in the middle. Yeah, interesting. And um, do you boys do you know much about about Rangers who about coming up against? Them? I know, as I mentioned, they reached that Europa League final uh, a couple of seasons ago. But um, as uh, how are Betis looking at that game and looking at a winnable game perhaps to kick off the the, the group stage? Yeah, as I told you, of, of course we know about Rangers. I mean, we know the history of Rangers, what has happened in the in those uh, terrific years and how, how they are doing uh, lately. And uh, yeah, at the end, as I told you, to, to me or to us is the most important team in the group. And uh, I think that playing against you in the first game, it will be good because at the end, mm -hmm. like the, the hardest thing to do, bang, you have it done and uh, have it done there. Then the next game we have to play it in our stadium. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm nervous at the same time because as, as I told you, I know it will be a, a very tough game. But yeah, but I'm happy to, to start with, uh, with Rangers because what it means um, uh, in the history of football and because what it means nowadays. Yeah, but you watch it in a, in, a, in a bar in the city then on next weekend, Nikki. 
You know, I'm sorry, but uh, I cannot. Uh, I'm, I get. I am too nervous if I watch a game in a bar. So I always try to watch it in my house with some friends, or maybe in a friend's house. But yeah, I, I cannot go to a bar just because if you are in a bar and if there is a, a Sevilla fan uh, next to you that is able, I don't want. I don't want him to scare, uh, to to scream a uh, Rangers goal. So that's why I, I always prefer to watch uh, games in my house. <laughs> and before you go, um, a score prediction then, how do you see it, uh, see it going at Ibrox um, in terms of a result? Sorry, excuse me? What, 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 a score prediction, how do you think that, the, what do you think the yeah, score is going uh, to be? I really hope uh, we won and uh, we win, of course, but I think that a draw will be, will be fine. I mean, we maybe won one there and then we win one nil here and uh, Betis is happy. No, but it, it will be a tough game. So yeah, I think a draw, I will be happy with a draw. Yeah, fantastic. And of course, you're on social media, Enrique. Um, people can uh, find out more about uh, the work that you guys do in uh, Twitter and Instagram, can't they? Yeah, we have uh, this project, Betis Bohemio. And uh, we, in Betis Bohemio, we try to share uh, Betis culture, uh, the history of, the, of our team, how it is related with the city. I mean, we don't, we don't care about the, um, the results of the game. We, we don't care about who is going to be the striker. We, we, are, we care about what Betis really means for Betis and for the city itself. And that's what we do. We have a digital magazine. Uh, we have um, our social media where we post the content every day. We have our web where, where we also publish articles. And we also have some merchandising. We, we started with the stickers, but now we already have, uh, for example, this shirt is ours. Is our. Yeah. We have a t-shirt, we have a scarf, we have flags. So yeah, we are we are happy. We're happy to be part of this uh, Betty that, that it has always uh, been big, but now it's uh, growing more and more. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Well, we wish you all the very best. And perhaps uh, when, we, when, when we head over in, in December time, there'll be uh, thousands of Rangers fans, I think, heading over uh, to Seville. So it will be good to uh, meet up with a few uh, Betty Coast as well. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, yeah, all the best for the, the season ahead. It's been great having a chat, Enrique. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Derek. And if you come to Seville, do not hesitate to call me for a beer. Top man, I will do. Super stuff.